Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept that is nothing but geospatial queries. So, what is this geospatial thing? Up to now, in our MongoDB, we have learned how to query the numbers, how to query the text data, how to query the array of elements. So, like this of data, we have queried it and we have found the data. Not only MongoDB supports this one, MongoDB also supports the geodata. Geodata means the latitude longitude thing. So for example, let's say that you are in a particular location and you want to find the places, uh, favorite places nearby you. So what are the restaurants located nearby you? So if you want to know this means MongoDB supports this one. So those are nothing but a geos geospatial data. In MongoDB, the geospatial data will be stored in the form of geoJSON format. So the geoJSON format, the object will be in a such a way that if you try to open here, so here you'll be able to see the geoJSON format. So it will be stored in a separate uh, in a separate format, and it will be having a something like field name. So it can be any any name you can have location or whatever the name you want, you can have it. And you need to mention it is an embedded document. And here in this one first you need to mention the type the type means nothing but it will be it will be supporting way very uh, number of types that is nothing but point line string polygon these are all the types it will be supporting so these are the different types of data it will be supporting like point line string polygon multi-point multi-line string multi polygon these are the different types so we will not go too much into this one we will try to see one by one Point means nothing but a single point. So that is nothing but if you go to the map, you are having a single point. So if you try to take take this point, so this is a single point. The point you can have the latitude and longitude of this one. So the single point we can say it. Line string means the two coordinates which will be joining the two points. 40 comma 5 and 41 points, 41 comma 6. So this is a line string. Polygon means you can have a multiple uh, multiple points here so which forms a sorry uh, which forms a uh, polygon structure and in that one you can have this is a complex type of thing so here you will be having different types something like single ring linear ring like that with different types of things you will be having so multiple rings like this we are having so i don't want to exp uh, go further into this one we'll try to see it one by one so this is about the geos json format so this is not a bjson format which the mongodb normally usually stores so this one will be supported outside the MongoDB also. This is not a MongoDB wholesale. Uh, it will be available only in the MongoDB. Don't think like that. It will be available outside also. This is a GeoJSON format. MongoDB also supports this geospatial data, GeoJSON format thing. And most of the almost almost major uh, types is supported in the MongoDB also. So now for saving this GeoJSON format, so what will be the thing so for example let's say that here when you are trying to save a coordinate in the mongodb the data we cannot save it as we want uh, so we need to for we need to save the data in a geo json format so that is the thing they are trying to explain us so geo json point so here for example in order to save a geo json point so this is how they are giving it should be a location location means the name this is the name field so you can have whatever the uh, name you want place or something like that whatever the field name you want you can mention it and this should be in a format something like this first you need to mention the geojson type that is nothing but point line string so these are all the things we have discussed right so like this you need to have a point and next you need to mention the coordinates coordinates in this one first you need to get a first you need to add latitude longitude and then afterwards you need to add the latitude so here too if you specifying latitude longitude coordinates list the longitude first and then the latitude so first it needs to be a longitude and then afterwards it needs to be a latitude so longitudes ranges from minus 180 to 180 and the latitudes ranges from minus 90 to 90 you need to uh, remember this one so longitude is uh, between one minus 180 to 180 it will be and latitude will be minus 90 to 90 so the coordinates will be minus uh, so like this it will be so geo json objects the list of geo json objects supported are we have already seen the points uh, these are line string these all the things are supported thing so now this is another way of showing legacy coordinate page. We don't want to discuss about this one. And so let's try to. So for in order to query the geospatial data. In order to query the geospatial data. So we need to index it. So we'll try to see 2D sphere and also 2D flat. 
so normally uh, what i can say is when uh, when we are trying to find a location so the earth so if you take as a globe so we can take the globe will be as a sphere or 2d flat so flat map we will be saying so for example say let's say that this is a flat map okay if you go on like this going on so this will be something around it will be a, maybe it will be a uh, this is a flat map right so you can also have a globe like structure also so for example if you go to the google earth or something like that so google earth or something so we will be having two different types of formats that is nothing but 2d sphere and also a 2d flat data so depending on the structure we need to add the index whether it is a 2d sphere 2d flat we'll try to see those things also so first we need to know how how we need to save the structure of the data let's try to save this one so here i am having a mongodb so here I will be opening this one. So let's try to create a db dot places dot insert one. I will try to insert one. And in this one, we will try to have geospatial thing. So you can have uh, whatever the name you want. Name you can take it. Okay, my my location or something like this. And uh, here uh, or otherwise favorite place restaurant. You can take any restaurant one and we need to provide the location for this one location and we already assumed right so it should be something like type first it should be the geo json data point and next one will be a coordinates so these are standard uh, names so which should be like this only and let's try to go to the uh so let's try to go to this uh maps thing so we need to get the data right so here let's try to zoom in so if i try to let's try to get the restaurants or something like this okay so here we are so here if you want to get so here i can take some hotel and here we will be getting the coordinates first we need to add a longitude so let's try to take a longitude and here let's try to add it here the longitude and also the latitude so the latitude we need to add the latitude means so first to this first one so the longitude it should be first and the latitude will be second so here we have added it that's it so now let's try to click on enter so now first thing we have added so let's try to see db dot places dot find one okay so this is our format geo json format first one is a type is a point so these are fixed ones type line string like this i have already shown you what are the types and the another one what we have seen is the coordinates okay the coordinates so 78 points so like this so you can have something around uh, to get the nearest uh, accurate precision so you can add up to six or you can add more than six also you can add it not a problem now we have added the restaurant uh, now we added one restaurant now i want to get the nearest restaurants available to me according to my location we need to find it so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to find do the query how we can find the nearest restaurants uh, available to me like that let's try to see it in the next video so this is all about the introduction of the geospatial uh, geo json data and the geospatial thing how we need to add the geo uh, geographics data latitude and longitudes in the mongodb we have seen it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you